This is a filmed account of Art Is Us, an artistic happening that took place on London Bridge on 29th May 1998. I dedicate it, firstly, to the high-powered American film unit sent to London Bridge that same day to get shots for their stock footage library. And secondly, and with great sadness, to the memory of my wife Carol. She was by my side throughout my many escapades for 25 years. She was only 60 when she died a year ago. The daily tide of humanity flowing across London Bridge has long been an iconic image. Since the invention of the camera, rarely a day has passed without a film unit or a photographer turning up to depict the scene. On Friday 29th May, there were more cameras on London Bridge than at any time in its history. Most of them, but not all, were there to record what happened when serious people crossing the bridge were invited to create a work of contemporary art by putting on an unusual item of headwear comprising a pair of cardboard ears. There was a good turnout of art correspondence from the broadsheets, and remarkably, these hardened characters arrived before 8 a.m. and were still on the bridge well after the event officially ended at a quarter past nine. The actual design of the ears, featuring the phrase, Art is Us, appropriate in the circumstances, was kept secret until the first person stepped onto the bridge on Friday 29th May. In the case of a conventional work of art, there is an artist and there are viewers. This would be another thing altogether, because everyone present on the bridge, whether actively participating or not, would contribute to the end result. The sense of occasion was heightened by the opportunity extended to everyone present on the bridge to be nominated for the 1998 Turner Prize, the only condition being that they must be under age 50. This is a rough cut edited version drawn from 30 hours of digital video footage. It was shot both on the day itself and during the several weeks preceding it, during which a constant presence was maintained on the bridge. Without such a daily presence, the event, requiring as it would the wholehearted participation of people walking at four miles an hour and never pausing in their stride, could not have succeeded. This is the bridge. Ask you a couple of questions, please. Oh, certainly, yeah. What do you think about wearing your ears this morning? Oh, I think it's a good idea. And did it take much persuasion to make you wear your ears? No, well, I've been thinking about whether I would, you know. It's been a good build up to it, you uh -huh. know, and uh, thought, oh, what the hell, I might as well, yeah. So you've seen the leaflets? <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, That's great. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I just showed a man how to wear some ears on his head. Is someone taking photos then of, yeah, of it? people taking photos and you've got to use your nomination card when you get to the other side well, of the okay. bridge. Oh, okay. cool. That's Thanks wonderful. So. Wear your ears with pride. Yes, that's what we're doing. Thank Great. You. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And did you hear about all the build-up to it? You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I only come across London Bridge a couple of times a week, but mm -hmm. um, picking up the leaflets, visited the website, and um, thought it was a, a bit of a chance to, um, to say something about the, uh, about the Turner Prize. And what, and what sort of things would you like to say about the Turner Prize? Um, it's kind of uh, a bit over-institutionalised and uh, why take it so seriously? Yeah. And I feel a little bit silly, but I think because you've entertained us all for the last goodness knows how long, I feel we, uh, we owe it to you. So we have entertained you then, have we? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Certainly the brochure yesterday it occupied my entire journey home last night. Yeah, wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> how do you feel about wearing your ears this morning, madam? It's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got the soft rock and the ear egg, so I'm just fine. <laughs> Are you going to wear your ears? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. You've got to put them on your head, yeah? Right. Yeah. Good. <laughs>
What do you feel about this whole thing then? I think it's huge fun. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's great. How about you, Dad? It's just a shame that many more people are interested in doing it. Mm -hmm. say it's very indicative of the uh, stiff upper lip of the British people. Yeah, you took a bit of convincing there, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't need any convincing. Just winding <laughs> up, mate. And what did you think of the build-up to it? That was good. It's very exciting. It's quite intense. Yeah. Good leaflets. Informative. <laughs> I'll wear it now, we'll oh, work from. How do you feel about being a nominee for the Turner Prize? Oh, absolutely fabulous. Things should be done more often. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think about the people that aren't wearing their ears this morning? They're exercising their democratic right to be very dull. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could I ask you why you're not going to wear your ears this morning? Because um, I'm late for work. Is I'm that late. really any reason, though? This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late for work. I need to wear a pair of ears. You really do need to wear these ears, though, sir. It's very, very important. You have to make a stand. I mean, come on, you've got to stand out. You see, the problem is, you see, all these people are late for work. No, no, I'm sure that they're not. I'm sure they're not all late for work. I'm sure that most of them just don't want to wear their ears because they're boring. What do you think? Um, well, I wouldn't really say that. You, you know, it's OK for you to say that. I can't really say that. Why? Why can't you say that, sir? Do you class yourself as a boring person? Definitely not, definitely not. I'm talking to you, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Hold on, look, here is a gentleman with some ears. This gentleman would like some ears. Thank you very much, thank you very right, much. Right, now, hold on, you've got to put them on. Let me put them on you. <laughs> oh, it looks wrong way. Just blown my hairstyle, you know what I mean? No, uh, it looks great. wonderful, you look great. Now, how do you feel? I feel like a perfect prep. I don't know. Do you not want to stand out from the crowd? Do you not want to be different? No, no, that's right. Why did you decide to wear them? Because they've been advertising it for weeks and it's just, they've put a lot of effort into setting it up mm -hmm. and advertising and letting people know what's happening and I just thought I'd go for it, it's a good laugh. Just further ahead up here, there's a gentleman who will give you some ears. Will you wear them when he gives them to you? Uh, no. Why not? Because I work there and I look stupid. How do you feel about wearing your ears? Fine. Yeah? What do you think about the people that aren't wearing their ears this morning? Oh, I think it's good to join in once in a while. I'm a production manager and I'm working with an American company who are um, a stock footage library and they're getting new stock for their library in LA of London. And what do you think about the whole event this morning? Uh, it's for us, it's a convenience. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because everyone looks it's atypical British, uh, with, the, with the hats on. It's and brilliant in general, <coughs> brilliant. But yeah. not not, not, for, not for us today, you know, this is supposed to be very English businessmen coming through London for stock yeah. footage to last for the next 10 years or something, yeah. and they've got art as us written on it. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Can I ask you a couple of questions about your ears? How do you feel about wearing your ears this oh, morning? They're superb. How do you feel about being a nominee for the Turner Prize? Well, it'll be fun if we win, but uh, I shouldn't think we've got much chance, really. And why is that? Well, I don't know. I may, I may be wrong. I'm, Maybe pleasantly surprised, I'd like to think so. Have you got a nomination card? What's that? When you were given your ears, you should have been given a nomination no, card. No, I haven't got one now. The only thing I've got is my bag and roll, which is my <laughs> 386 nomination cards were received and were lodged with the Tate Gallery a few hours before the deadline for nominations for the 1998 Turner Prize, which was midnight on Sunday, 31st May. To underline the essentially ephemeral nature of the event, all the leftover ears were sprayed with indelible dye. Apart from 100 pairs put aside for the archive, the only unmarked examples are those worn or carried across London Bridge on that day. Among the dozens of emails that arrived on the website on the day of the event and those which followed was one which said, I can't remember any art that has lived with me all day in quite the same way as this morning did. Any excitement, it went on, generated by art, wears off in hours, with a number of notable exceptions. But Art Is Us is still with me now.